welcome back to my channel it's Ivana Balanga and I'm back again with another video so for today's video I'm gonna do a tutorial on this hairstyle because I posted like a 30 second tutorial on this hairstyle on TikTok and it got like 60 I think it's at like 60,000 views right now and I got like hundreds of comments people asking me like for more in-depth you know details about my hair type about the products I use about how I did this hairstyle so I thought I'd just make a more in-depth YouTube video that way I I can show you guys everything and talk you through it before you start this video just know that this hairstyle requires a lot of gel like a lot of gel so if you don't like using gel don't watch this this is not for you but yeah as you can see there's the swoop there's the edges the definition so you can't do that on type 4 hair without gel so this video is basically just going to be like a typical wash day for me with my 4c hair from beginning to end um and then i'll end with this hairstyle so i hope you guys enjoy the video and please let me know any other kinds of videos that you guys would like to see from me if you'd rather have hair videos makeup videos maybe more playlists i don't know just let me know and i will do as you ask all right let's just get right into it because i don't want to talk too much so I have my hair wrapped up in this t-shirt. Um, I already washed and deep conditioned my hair. I use this Aussie deep conditioner and I actually use it as a leave-in conditioner. I do not care, it does the same thing and it actually works better for type four hair. So yeah, here's a little link check. So now I'm just gonna go in with this Cream of Nature Argan Oil Twisting Curl Pudding. This just helps stretch out my curls and define them a little bit before I go in with gel. And I'm spraying it down. My hair is already a little bit damp, but you just want to make sure that it's wet. And now I'm just going to go in with these two gels, Eco Styler and Wetline Extreme, just to define the curls even more. I should have done this first, but now I'm about to go in with this wild hair growth oil and put it all over my scalp just to make sure that my scalp is moisturized too. So I'm going ahead and doing the same exact thing to the next section of hair, going in with the cream of nature and then with the two gels. And just make sure you're grabbing really small sections because you want to try to define every single strand of hair. And you'll see throughout the video that I have different hair types throughout my whole head. So in the back, it's a lot looser um, than it is in the middle. Doing another length check. <laughs> I'm also focusing the product a lot more toward the ends of my hair because that's what's really gonna show in the puff. So just try to focus more on the ends and it'll save you some time too. Make sure you're separating the strands into super tiny strands of hair. That way they don't clump up. If you're having difficulty defining a section of hair, just comb through it before you put the gel and it should help. It's kind of difficult when you get to the back, but just do the same exact thing. Try to separate the strands as much as you can.
This is me realizing I still have two sections left in the back. <laughs> Again, just focusing the product on those ends. So now I'm gonna go in with this diffuser to try and dry my roots and get rid of that white stuff. And I'm just gonna start picking it out now too because it's gonna help give me volume in my puff. I'm starting to create this upward motion with Eco Styler Gel. And I'm making my front part now just to get ready to make that bang. So I'm gonna use this shoelace to tie my hair into a puff. So I just wrap it around the back of my head, tie it back there and then pull, mostly pushing the back up. And then I wrap it around one more time and tuck it in in the back. So now that we have our poof, we can start working on this front section. So I'm gonna detangle it one more time. Spray it down. And I'm going in with Eco Styler Gel just to define it again. Then I'm gonna use Gorilla Snot. And this is gonna help me slick it down. So I just slowly start brushing it down with the soft bristled brush. And I'm trying to get rid of those spaces with my edge brush. Then I use hair clips to secure it down. I use four of them. I'm doing my edges with Gorilla Snot. Now this is what is gonna make your swoop stay in place all day. I use Got To Be Glue Gel as like a finishing touch, I guess I would say. And I just put it right on top of what I've already done. And you'll see once I take off the scarf, it's literally like glue, so it's really good if your edges don't cooperate. So I'm gonna leave this scarf on for like 15, 20 minutes and that gives me time to work on the poof. So just fluff it out, define what you need to and get it to be the shape that you like. This is what I mean when I say that got to be glue gel is no joke, like, <laughs> it's like glue. Now I'm just going to add some more wild hair growth oil on my scalp because that gel can kind of dry it out. But yeah, that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys found it helpful. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see y'all in my next video.